Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So today we have to talk about the Stradman. He's one of the largest automotive channels on YouTube. He's got 15 cars, including a Bugatti, and throughout the last two years, he spent almost $3 million building a house in Utah. And guess what, guys? That house is completely done, and Steve Hamilton from the Hamilton Collection just posted a video walking through that house. And of course, we gotta review it as a real estate agent, real estate investor, and someone who's uh, very invested in the story of the Stradman's uh, new house construction. So with that said, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, because we got to get to a million subscribers. Please, guys, just go ahead, click the subscribe button. It's totally free. It takes you a split second, and as a thank you for doing that, here's a picture of a puppy. So thank you guys so much. Now, with that said, let's begin. Doggy! They're here! Oh, dear God. All right. Oh, dear God. oh, man, that would be Macy. As soon as she sees an animal, she just immediately just laser focuses in on whatever the animal is, just everything else disappears. She's like, I just got to go and pet the animal. But this dog is so cute, so fluffy. I'm not going to give you quite the know, same warm welcome. Doing? That's okay. Dude, good That's to see right. you guys. What's up, dude? What's up? Good to see you. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going, dude? James is such a natural on camera. Like, the way he vlogs, I was there once before with him. I get so, like, nervous to ever vlog in front of people because I'm like, what if I say the wrong word? What if I stutter? And they all laugh at me. But he just straight up turns on the camera, no preparation, starts talking, one takes it. It's insane. He just walks around with the camera like that. It's so good. You guys are really lucky Alex is here. Because yes. if Alex wasn't here, you guys would all be sleeping on the floor. <laughs> because of him, we got beds, we got we trash we did get cans, yeah, we got, we got right. drinks, no we got snacks, yeah. Yeah. we got wow. sleeping bags. We should really get sponsors for his entire channel. Like, just be sponsored by West Elm or like Wayfair. Just have them go through, furnish the entire house, just do one sponsorship with them. I guarantee his house would look so nice. Have Casper sponsor the mattresses. Like there's so many opportunities just to get an amazing house. When I was super particular, I wanted to get the roof pieces painted and yeah. because most of the roadsters come either black or carbon. Okay. But I think paint mash is really cool. Yeah. This is this is where it's at right here. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite cars to be honest is the uh, stick shift six speed Murcielago. I think that's a 2000, oh man, I'm gonna get it wrong. 2002 or 2004, but either way, that Murcielago for me is one of my favorite cars he has. The rarity, the six-speed Murcielagos, man, the prices of those have gone crazy lately. I would recommend driving with traction control off. Okay. So that's the only thing. Cool. But yeah, Dude, I can't I'll, wait. This I'll let you good. start it since it's your first. Yeah. Uh, this is your inaugural. You know. I love it, dude. Oh uh, yeah, this guy is uh, Lambo Jesus on Instagram, <laughs> and uh, you, you gotta follow him because some of his stories and posts are just so crazy. He's he's in a lot of the car content, but like behind the scenes, or you see him in the background, and you just see his car. I've had a fascination with the 40th anniversary edition. Yeah. So it's Amazing. it's cool being you know 11 years later driving one of these cars. Yeah. It's like so special, yeah. man. I love it. Gosh, imagine being his neighbor, waking up five o'clock in the morning to boom, 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 just like the Lambos just go. It sounded horrible, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. But uh, you, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. To all the NASA engineers watching today's Woo. video, you're gonna be out of job. Oh man, that driveway. Could he not have just leveled it a little bit more? I wonder how that works, but there's gotta be a way to make that so flat that any car could go straight and just never scrape. I live in a city where there's not a lot of super and hyper cars, so it's gotta be shocking for some of the people to see all this. I wonder what it's like out here, if they're just used to it because it's him. The thing with Steve Hamilton though, is that uh, he drives all of his cars. He puts an insane amount of miles in these cars that like most people just keep in the garage like me. And he's just out there driving, putting miles on, not caring. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, this is crazy. I'm used to it all being my cars, but this is like, this is great. Yeah, in his town especially, it's like, you know, that's up. Uh, not that's the Stradman driving by with the, the, just the lineup of like 10 cars behind him. They're, they're an hour away, we're gonna go to In-N-Out Burger. Oh man, Texas Roadhouse. That was the first time I've ever been to Texas Roadhouse was in Utah with James. It is so good. And they have one actually here now in Vegas. They have, I think, two of them. They're delicious. The bread, the, these little buns that uh, are just like kind of sweet, put butter on them. Oh man, I could just fill up on the, on the bread. It was bad. Think of the 
amount of gas it takes just to go and get lunch. Cause you have to think like some of these cars are just like one person is driving each car. I would love to add up the total amount that they've spent just in gas, just to go there and back, probably like a hundred bucks. I've always been curious. Why haven't you got a 360 shootout? Why haven't you gotten one? It's one of those things where sometimes when you meet your heroes, have you driven one? I have. It's just underpowered and I can't modify it. I can't do anything to it. And <laughs> but you're the strat man. I know. For those of you who don't know, I know. You're yeah. strat man because of the three six. No, no, no. But that, that's why you got your name. <laughs> no, it is. It is. Yeah, I made up the name when I was 15 years old. I needed a Ferrari chat username. I love it. And that was my favorite car as a 14 year old. And it hasn't got. No. You don't have a Mercy Lago. <laughs> I know. Not, Not yet. I know. Okay, when so you buy I'll a Mercy Lago, I'll yeah. buy a Stradale. You know what that reminds me? When I was like 15 years old or 16, I went and I joined uh, Ferrari Chat and there was like, I think Lambotalk.com and um, I would just go and browse and see what these guys were talking about. I love the off-topic section, the business section. And for me, it was like this, this glimpse into the inside world of the people who could like afford to drive these cars and buy them. It was so cool because a lot of them were like verified users and here I was as like, you know, a teenager just going and trying to learn as much as I could. Yeah. So we're gonna tear these cabinets out and these cabinets out. Hey, we're gonna what? put a big range hood. Mm. Cause right now you got like the big lights, you got the big yeah. island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna have like this little baby Range oh yeah, you're right. Range hood will, will look Yeah, so we're gonna do that and then have like some floating shelves and then we'll actually just put huh. these in the garage. So we'll still okay. use these, so it's yeah. not gonna like cost that much. You would think that he would uh, figure that out before installing the cabinetry. I mean, I get what he's doing. I kind of like the open shelving, especially because he's got such a big kitchen for everything else. It's a good display. But again, you would think that, you know, with all the planning that went into this, you would just get something in, unless he had to rush this a little bit to get approval from the city to uh, to occupy it. So that's the only thing I can think of. All of yes. this granite right here. Oh, you have waterfall and wood edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of wish I would have done the second edge though. But yeah, yeah. that's the thing when you look, like, this is my first house I've ever had. Yeah. So I didn't even know what a waterfall was yep. until they suggested the idea. Nobody cares about the waterfall, I'll be honest with you. It makes no difference whatsoever. I think it's kind of overhyped. It's more expensive. Nobody really appreciates it. So I just go with the basics. Yeah. I have so many ideas though. Like there's so many other things because I did so much research now yeah. analysis. Yeah. I was like, oh, I should do that. I should do that. I should do that. So I could see maybe in five years. Yes doing it again because it, it, it is it's stressful but it's fun i'm gonna walk through your house and i'm gonna realize there are things that i should have done oh yeah everybody has exactly that once you move into a house it could be perfect but then you're gonna want to change something always happens every time so probably by like the fifth time you do this you'll get it down i'm still waiting to get a better. first floor master yeah yeah exactly and there's a deck right here to be a hot tub in the future yeah oh, man. there's a lot to do oh i love the brick veneer on the back that is fantastic i have that in the master bedroom his looks like a real brick veneer mine is like you know an artificial brick veneer it's not as good uh unless this is a wallpaper by the way in which case i can't tell at all this is the master shower dude you, you got some great like details with your tile work like there's some neat little your little nook in there wow look at all the nozzles I'm always just like, hey, that, that, that's just more of a water bill for me. I'd rather have one nozzle, one water bill, not just like tripling it here. You know, for me, it's just like, that's, that's enough. One rain shower. If you press the button, let's get some more light in there. You press yes. this down here. Yes. Wait, push it in. Push push it in. The other way. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you're finished. Now push it again. All right. And you walk away. It just wants to gobble up your poop. That's pretty cool, but you have to have an outlet right by the toilet for that to work to plug into. Otherwise, it's insanely just, it either looks really bad to run a cord all the way around the bathroom. That's why you always need a plug right by the bathroom now. Oh my God, this is huge. So this is amazing because Oscar can I go love this. full sprint. Yes. <laughs> and on carpet, he has the confidence too that he needs. Yes. He's not sliding around, crashing into stuff. <laughs> this is so where I went wrong. We, we have the long, but it's narrow. So it oh, makes it like, yeah. this makes this look massive. Yeah, the only thing with spaces like this though, they just go unused. Nobody really ever uses that space. It looks nice, but practically, uh, I don't know. It usually goes to waste. We just got this bed just for you guys. All right. So. We're all sleeping in the No, you're almost <laughs> one bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one bed. You guys seem to really like each other. So you yeah, should be totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I call Oscar. <laughs> Oscar looks like he's about to jump in it. Yeah, he's Oscar thinking about it. I love the mattress on the floor. You know what? No frame, doesn't need it. I actually did exactly this in the Los Angeles house for the first uh, six months because all the furniture was like delayed and back ordered because of the beginning of COVID. And mattress on the floor worked just fine. 
I liked it actually. I thought it was pretty good. I saw it's a bachelor pad because they're walking on brand new carpet with shoes. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Oh, they're walking on. Oh man, they're wearing shoes. It doesn't take much. Just take the shoes off, especially with the, the house is new. I could see if the house was 10 years old, the carpet's already been used, but just keep it nice as long as you can. This room is above the garage. This is the wet bar right here, like when car friends come over to hang out. This is where we'll come. So we have like a whole kitchen, uh, the view down to look down on the cars. Uh, in the future, have a TV, a couch in here, and like a table and whatnot. What? It should be amazing. And these doors are so cool. There's not, we have all the cars outside, but. How did he get that permitted? Just doors that open up like 20 feet above the garage? How did any inspector be like, yeah, that's okay. I don't, I don't get it. It seems like such a huge hazard without like a rail or something going across the back. How did he do that? I want to know who, who signed off on that. That's so awesome. Yeah. Oh, so we need to get a railing here yes. soon. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> he didn't sign off on that yet. This is bigger than my garage, clearly. And then you also have a, a downstairs that I haven't seen yet that, that is this size as well, right? Yeah, it's the same exact footprint. With the car feel. elevator jog cars down. Can we all ride the car elevator down to the basement? I love the garage. Honestly, if I could just have a big open warehouse like that, I would love it. Part of me wants to do that for the iced coffee hour, just get a big warehouse, I could pull a car in there, just have a great time, build up some uh, different sets. Might be worth it. There's all of us are holding Oscar. You're stuck down, Natalia. We got your dog. We got him covered. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, thanks Bye for coming. Guys. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs> oh my god, it's dark. And we're never gonna, and we're dead. We need drywall, lighting, flooring. I mean, there's yeah. still so much to do. It's too bad there's not a way to drive down there as well. Like, have some sort of entrance in the back where it comes down and you could drive down to the bottom garage or go through the top. That would be ideal. It would be expensive to do that besides the garage, but uh, I would say that, that that's worth it. Tons Very of light. Cool. It's that's actually so amazing. Weird. Like upstairs is awful for filming. Yeah. Down here is amazing because yeah. it's just insulation. This is a movie theater room right here. Right. Oh, I love this downstairs. See, I, I'm more of like a downstairs sort of person. Just, a, just give me a basement. I'm set. That's what he said. It scares me. Just like, oh, <laughs> oh, you, oh, you did the thing where they. Yes, you build foundation all around the vault. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I love the vault. More houses should have a vault like that. That is, that's prime. That is prime. I, I love that. That's a great idea. Best money ever spent. I want to add another garage on the backside, like a shop garage. Yeah. Uh, have a pool, go kart track, be cool. Yes. Uh, have so a personal car wash bay. How much Ooh. land do you have back there? Because if so you were to get that, it's 1.7 acres. Wow. And that's an acre. So if I bought that, I have 2.7 acres. That's, that's I, don't even, I don't even know what I would do with that, but it'd be a like, great investment. Yeah, I would buy the adjoining lot and just, you know, you never know if you're ever going to need that, but if you sell it, you could sell it combined. You could always sell it off later for another property if you want to develop something there. I would do it. I think that's very good money spent right there. Like, Dude, she's going to start feeling the dirt. Uh -huh. she oh, this, up is this is pure. Uh -huh. This is starting to get a little serious. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for showing us around your house. Yeah, for sure. Wait, yeah. that's, oh, that's, that's it. it. The fact that there's a for sale sign there and he's not negotiating in that lot right now. The thing is, though, he cannot let the owner know that he's the one making the offer because as soon as he's the one who wants the house, listen, I know this from experience, the, uh, the seller's not going to budge on the price. He needs to make an offer through an LLC or through a blind trust or through something where they don't know who the buyer is and then it turns out to be him. So that's what I would do. Get the lot adjoining, but, but don't let them know that it's you that's making the offer. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll link to the original video down below in the description for anyone who wants to check him out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.